Rachel, Abby, then Kate. Rachel, oh, okay. Kate, Abby, Abby. Abby, Rachel. Oh, no Kennedy today. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I didn't call him out, so I have no idea. Is it? Oh, she's going. Okay, we're next to you again. Right here. Yes. Woo! I'm out of breath. I'll take that with you. I'm just gonna take up on this water. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get enough water? No, I wasn't there for your speech. What were you doing? I didn't know everyone left. So all the team left, and you're the only one standing yeah, up there. Yeah, I was just talking. <laughs> Something like that. Wowza. Thank God for Brian. Thank God for Brian! Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Sorry to make you wait. I don't even know. <laughs> Good. Dan, do we have other ones after this too? We do, don't we? Because you're set up over there. Oh, perfect. <sighs> Where's she at? You didn't know. Oh, thought yeah, it was Kennedy. True. I did tell Kennedy. That's mine. I have that. There. He has another one. Too. <laughs> I don't want to Rob, diet car can, can you have that? Because you have that other water. <laughs> that you... Thank you. Down that already? Yeah, I did. <laughs> she loves water. Our water bottles are empty now. So. She loves She loves No, I did it. Abby did, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, Abby did. I guess we love doing that. Oh, thank you. Slacker. Huge. We didn't. Yep, yeah, we didn't know. Let's blame Dan. Dan's fault. <laughs> I'm repeating something I said on the court, but our Twitter handle and our SIDs have renamed us the Cardiac Cougs during the season, and we're living up to that moniker. But as long as we're on the right side of that, <laughs> that's all we want and all that matters. But um, Auburn gave us everything we wanted and played a really good match. Um, that Brent's going to do all the freshmen that they got on the court right now. Um, they're going to be dirty and a really good team for years to come. Questions? Um, first for Kate. Uh, last year you didn't get in the tournament. Now you're in the Sweet 16. Can you sum up your feelings on that? Oh, honestly, words can't describe what I'm feeling right now. Honestly, proud is a really, really big one. I think in – Last year, whenever we didn't get picked for the tournament, it hurt, and we used that as motivation for this year. And just to see what we've accomplished this year is a really, really <laughs> huge testament to our hard work. So was that an extra grind as the year went on? And, oh, and absolutely. And forgetting how that felt. To absolutely. Me. And then once you won your first round match last night, did you kind of build upon that? Yeah, I think it gave us the confidence and showed us that we belong here and that we can hang with the best of the best. So. Uh, Abby, uh, they, in the third set, they had five blocks alone in that set. Mm -hmm. uh, were, were they frustrating you at, at the next <laughs> You asked the wrong person, but yes. Uh, I can answer it for you if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're a huge physical team, so we just had to find a way to get around. Well, me, I had to. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating, but we came out on the other side, so that's all that matters. How did you find that way? Uh, cut them up, shot. You know, do what I could. Uh -huh. um, I mean, you went against Texas earlier this year, so you know what big physical imposing right. teams can be like on the other side of the mm -hmm. net. Uh, as you go forward, you, you know. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah. how would you address, you know, what, what you have accomplished against that and how <clears throat> you size yourself up moving forward. Yeah, I mean, Dave always reminds me, like, I have to play my own game. I'm not all power. That's not who I am. So I just use a lot of shots and, yeah, find the open holes. Uh, we're good. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Rachel, um, how would you, uh, I mean, UCF lost tonight. I don't know if you're aware of that. So you're carrying the banner of the conference uh, right now. And I'm sure, you know, you put that season-ending loss behind you. How did you reset yourselves from that to where you are now? Um, I think put it like the way that the team responded to adversity is kind of like what our team motto is, and just playing together and being able to you know respond. And that's kind of one of the words that Dave says a lot is respond. How are we going to respond to this? Teams are going to beat you up, but you have to know that they're going to do that. They're going to get their blocks, just like you're saying. You know, they're a huge team here. They're going to get their blocks. They're going to be kills. But at the end of the day, we have to come together, work against that adversity, and you know, come out on top. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you could to build on what the coach had mentioned about the cardiac coup. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I did end up telling the team that in the fourth set. I was like, hey, we're the cardiac kooks. We love fifth sets. So <laughs> we're going to come out on top, um, but we do have to do the work to get there. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you uh, uh, address the question that I had asked Abby earlier about, yeah. you know, dealing with that front line? Yeah, I mean, once you come to the tournament, every team is good. No team is going to, you know, fall over and die and, you know, give you the game. They're going to get their blocks. And you just kind of have to use that as mot motivation to be like, okay, you know what? I did get blocked, but let me learn from it and see what else I can do. Ask my teammates for advice, ask coaches for advice, just to see what – what we can do because a game the volleyball the volleyball shoot sorry <laughs> volleyball <laughs> is a game of you know change and you know working around what defense the other team is in kind of working around that and you know learning from it Abby said you sliced them up cut them up a little uh -huh. bit from your perspective how did, how did you guys do the, in I think we did great yeah we got blocked I don't know it was the third set yeah yeah we got blocked a whole bunch um, we did come back from that we started cutting them up we found out that we can't in their block because if we do that, it's going to go straight down. So <laughs> learning to, you know, use our shots, <coughs> take the setter out, um, get people on the ground is kind of like what we wanted to go, go and do. Anything else? Awesome. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, I'm going to do a couple more with the coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, coach. All right, guys. Yeah, you guys can go. Yeah, you guys can go. Without us? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. Sweet. Yeah, you got Dan. Oof. All those chairs are there. Yeah, just a couple more. How yeah. would you sum up the weekend that Kennedy had? <laughs> um, again, Kennedy has had moments of greatness for us, and it's been moments. So, and it's at times when we need her. I don't know since she's been a Cougar if she's ever put them back to back like she has. Again, and again, the moments that it is, but. Um, Kennedy is someone that doesn't waver off herself. She knows who she is. She knows who, what kind of player she needs to be. And so you know what you're going to get from Kennedy Warren. And it's just when she does moments like this or have games back-to-back -back matches like she has, um, it takes so much pressure off everybody else. So this like this back-to-back -back performance, she, there was nothing like quite, you know, at least that no. you could think of. No, I know RSID just walked out. But I, I, in my memory, I don't know if that's ever happened. About uh, Cortland because yeah. I mean she's it seemed like her kills were timely kills yeah. tonight. Would you agree with that? Wholeheartedly, I think we did a really bad job of getting her started in the match, um, and and I knew that she's the one person that can go over a block at times too and be physical through a block, um, but we didn't do a good job of getting her the ball early in the in the match. Um, but then once we started running more middle play and getting things going, that opened up a lot for her and and she capitalized them really well. How, how important has she been? How important will she be as you look forward? I think we're all important. Like you mentioned before, I, I don't know the Stanford Regional, what's going on there, but whoever it is, I'm sure they're bigger. Uh, I'm sure they're physical, and we're going to need to match the physicalness, um, and Cortland can match that physicalness for us. It seemed like in the second set and the fifth set, you made your runs yeah. when Annie was serving. Yeah. Is that coincidence? Nope, and he's one of our best servers. I know, Abby, um, we talk about in our gym point scoring, and point scoring is the person who's serving, how many points they can rally together, and that's a defense that's an ace that's getting them out of system and scoring in different ways, but how many times can you serve in a game? And and Abby, Annie, and Kate are our top three point scorers, and, and having Annie do that, it's not surprised. Um, I was surprised that she missed um, when she did miss in the fourth. Can you expand on the history of the Cardiac Cougs name? Yeah. Um, I wish I, my memory isn't good enough to keep going through this through the season, but I, I couldn't tell you how many five-set matches. I'm sure you have it somewhere in your book or the book behind you. Um, but I know it started, it didn't start, but I know it went through Mississippi State weekend, and we went five with South Al. Um, and then we went five. We, verse, we reverse swept Mississippi State, um, and then that moniker started to stick. And then we did it again shortly thereafter. Um, and it just and it went away because we went on this streak of sweeps, so it went away. But but it's been something where we we trust each other and we don't panic when it gets in that situation. So um, I'll live with it. I love it um, as long as you're on the right side of it. It's all that matters. And then final question for me is, is uh, resetting yeah. after the, the UCF loss. Yeah. How how would you characterize you know gathering everybody gather, yeah. everybody gathering themselves up? I think. I mean, we were on a 20-match win streak at that time, and it, it, you, you need a smack in the face every now and then. You need a wake-up call. And it's not like we were playing horribly bad, but you need to know how, 
how quick a season can end or how fast the game can switch on you. And I think that's one of the things that that match made us kind of have to rally around each other for this week prepping for this. And it made you got attention easier instead of just let's just keep doing it again and keep doing it again. And and I think that's something we got to keep building from. And, and that's what the, the fifth setter, that's what the lost UCF helped us with. Uh, and I, I'm sorry, I might right. line up, but one more. Yeah, no. Just, I, I heard it from your players. What does it mean to you to have this team in the Sweet 16? Well, um, everything. I, Brent and I talked before the match. We don't, we don't, we know of each other, but we don't know each other. We've, we don't travel in the same circles. But my path has been very unique. I'm a junior college coach, um, and it took someone to trust me. Um, going from junior college to Arkansas State, they took a chance, and then um, TJ took a chance on me, and Chris Pesman took a chance, and Houston took a chance, and and uh, it means everything. It's validation. For not just me, but for everybody. No, thank you, guys. Did you get all that? Just checking. She's my nemesis right there. Thank you.